Well, what do you make of this little joker? Isn't he fantastic? I would absolutely challenge you to guess quite how old this piece of ceramic is. It's Persian and it dates from the 11th or 12th centuries. Isn't that extraordinary? I mean, ceramic at the best of times will chip and crack and break if you drop it. And this survival is nothing short of miraculous. This object is called an aquamanile, which is a fancy word for saying a ceremonial pouring jug. You'd put probably some scented or holy water in the orifice in the top of the animal's back. That's connected to a little handle look. You then tip it up and this protruding bit between its ears is where the fluid would appear. You'd probably rinse your hands in a little basin before performing some holy task and set him down on the table. If you look carefully, the color scheme is in dark maroon, and I doubt that that was the original color when it was made in the 11th or 12th centuries, because that dark red background can sometimes represent what a bit of luster looked like. So either a golden coppery color or a silvery color would have been the original scheme where all the areas of purple are that you see today. In between, the body of the thing is lead glazed, and you see traces of this turquoise green glaze, which is very typical of wares from Persia, typically Iznik wares, which is where this thing probably originated from. The intriguing thing is that it has survived all this time. It's comical. If you look at his face, this, this pretend tiger has got a rather dozy and amusing expression. Let us hope that it will amuse somebody in the timeline auction. The estimate is five to seven thousand pounds, and quite frankly, for the survival, for its age, for its amusement value, that is not a lot of money. What do you think? There you are. Told you. Dopey.